All right, it's time to create an event. The most common way to do this is to navigate to your events dashboard once you are logged into Splash. Here, you will find all the events you've created or are a collaborator on. If this is the first time you are creating an event, your events dashboard will resemble something more like this. Whether you are an event creating pro or brand new to the tool, you will be creating your next event the same way from the events dashboard. Click on the new event button to launch the create event form. Welcome to the create form. This is where you will enter specific details about your event. Before we break it down, keep in mind that all of these details can be edited within the event settings. The first choice you have to make in the create form is whether your event will be an RSVP or ticketed event. What's the difference? Well, think of an RSVP event as a simple registration. An invitee arrives to your splash page, inputs his or her information, and submits. Responses are then compiled automatically for you, the event planner, in a simple, easily navigated list. Ticketed events are identical to RSVP pages, but the main difference is that they integrate a ticket purchase option. This ticket purchase becomes the way an individual registers to attend your event. The attendee will visit the page, choose the ticket type he or she wants to purchase, inputs their payment information, and submits. Just like with RCPs, the information is then compiled for you, the event planner, in a simple, easily navigated list. Want to issue tickets but not charge a dime? You can create free RCP tickets by selecting the Make This an RCP Ticket option in the Ticket Type settings. Okay, once you make that selection, then we just need to fill out the rest of the necessary details. The title of your event will auto-generate an event hashtag and domain name. These are customizable if you want to make adjustments to either. Whitelisting your event via vanity URLs are also an option for paid users to take advantage of. Your event type will help filter which types of themes we will recommend to you during the theme selection step on the next page. Being in the event marketing field, we fully understand that time, date, and location of your event will constantly be updated during the pre-event cycle. But for now, let's be sure to put in real placeholders because everything we fill out in this create form will be dynamically pulled into the event page. Once we have completed the form, let's advance to the next step by clicking on Next, Choose Theme. Now it's time to choose your theme. If you don't have any custom themes created for your account already, you'll find three tabs up top, Recommended, Starter, and Foundation. In the future, when you save a theme to your library, you'll also have a tab marked Yours. For now, let's focus on these other main three options. The Recommended tab houses all of Splash's latest and greatest themes. You'll see, upon making a selection in the event type dropdown from the create form, that the themes have been curated to give you options related to your choice. Pro tip, if you'd like to see all of the themes in Splash's recommended category, click on the theme top dropdown and select all. As we scroll down the page here, there are a number of different options available to you. All the recommended themes are dynamically beautiful, completely responsive, and their actual directive content varies. Some themes are simple, a card of information on top of a hero image, like this one here, may be all you need. Others, like this conference theme, are very robust with 10 to 12 blocks included on the page by default. It is worth your time to experiment and find a theme you like by trying a few out, but you are not limited to just the recommended themes. As we scroll back up, let's also check out the starter themes. Starter themes are a lot more basic because they house virtually the exact same content and they are structurally a little different. Remember, any content inside these themes can be edited on page. We are just giving you a head start. Last but not least, you will find the foundation themes. Think of these as more blank slates. If you'd rather create an event page from complete scratch, our boxy and fluid reset themes are great choices to select. Or if you've already created a poster or flyer in advance for your event, take a look at our poster reset and clip reset themes for easy plug and placing. Once you have made your selection, simply click on the theme of your choice to create your event.